to another episode of the Albion Rovers Journeyman series. Um, at the end of the last episode I did say that I was just going to power through to January and meet you back here but as you can probably see from the top it is March. Um, when I got to January uh, we were sixth, um, we were seven points behind Cowden Beath in fifth and we were 14 points away from the relegation zone so it seemed like we were going to be in no man's land. So what I decided to do I thought well I'll power on to end the season um, get through the January transfer window, get to the end of the season, see where we finish and uh, start recording for the next episode at the start of next season after we've got through pre-season. But then a strange turn of events happened, there might be a little bit of spoiler here, but if you look at us fixtures, we went on a bit of a winning streak. <laughs> we um, we lost to Cowden Beath, which I thought that was it, they, um, they, they went clear of us and I thought well that's definitely it we're going to finish in the bottom half when the league splits and um, there, there's not really much to play for so it, it wouldn't have made great content because we were playing matches just for the sake of playing matches but after we lost to Cowden Beef we beat Sterling and then obviously we lost to Edinburgh which was really disappointing um, I can't really blame the 10 men either because we, we were already 2-1 down by that point but then we've won 5 matches on a bounce and uh, Cowden Beath seemed to have hit the opposite side of things and they're in poor form so they beat us then they lost three and then they won another one and then it, it's just it's, it's been strange so now suddenly we've gone from no man's land to we could finish in the top half of the split and actually play for something there um, we were relegation favourites at the start of the season so I thought if I finish ninth that's great so bottom half, it's not great content but at least I can plod on to end of season keep us up and see what we can do next season except now we're in a position where we could finish in the top half of the split and potentially play for a European place it's completely unexpected and I think it will make great content, it just so happens that our next match is against Cowden Beath, so we're one point above them, as goal difference is far superior as you can see we've got a plus 17 which is great because um, a few matches ago, I think it ran about here, um, we were only at plus two. So we've just started banging goals in. Um, I've, I have changed the tactic. I'm now using um, one called TFF. Um, I've, I found, I've downloaded it. I'll, I'll, not, um, I'll not try to claim it as my own. I'll put a link in the description for it if anybody wants to use it. But it just seems to have completely turned us around. And, well, we, we just can't stop scoring at the minute. So I thought, with Cowden and Beath coming up next, um, big game, we're one point clear of them, if we beat them we'll be four points clear, so we'll play that match, um, see how that goes, and then obviously there'll be a bit more videos of this season first. Um, when the league splits, if we do manage to finish it top half, I'll, I'll probably record near enough every game because we'll be pushing for that European spot, so it's, it's a big thing. So what I'll do is I'll I'll power forward to match day and um, I'll see you for the Cowden Beath game. Right, welcome back. Uh, it's match day. We're playing the big game against Cowden Beath. Um, it, it's not really a big game. Well, it is for us. I mean, this this could put us four points clear of them, and with what there will be another one, two, three, four, five, six, another seven games before the end of the before the league splits. So. I guess it has actually a big game so let's get back to uh, team selection um, this is effectively my strongest team I believe um, Ferris has been playing well Gracie can't stop scoring Kearney is starting to pop up uh, Guthrie's playing well but he's just don't fit into this tactic um, there is a few things I did forget to mention when I went through the January transfer window I brought in a couple of players so Greg Murray's come in on a free transfer from Cumbernauld Colts. Never heard of them. Um, uh, he's, he's a good, bold, winning midfielder. Uh, this tactic takes a box the box midfielder, which is why he's dropped at bench because Dylan Thompson's playing quite well right there. Um, I also brought in Sean Rutherford to play at left back. Um, he's actually been playing regular for me. He came in from Tranent. Then Dashi. 
Kutsish Vili came in. Um, I recognised the name, um, but I couldn't work out why. And then I looked, and it's because he was an Inverness player a few years ago. Uh, but he's coming from Blith Spartans. I think I believe that is Blyth Spartans, unless they've just changed the name to the Spartans. And then Joe McGovern came in as a goalkeeper from Cowdenbeath, although he's now unhappy he's not getting played. But Morrison is a better keeper, although he's only on loan, so I kind of signed McGovern with the idea of playing him next year. Um, a few went out as well, um, not big players, uh, none of them really getting games, and I've loaned Monaghan out uh, to civil service to get some games because he's only a young player and he's got a good potential. So, um, you will notice I've got a youth in my team. I'm a bit short on left midfield as Kutsish really can't really play there. And my first choice left midfielder is Rooney, who is injured again. He, he spends more time in the physio room than the physio does. So, this young guy made his debut um, last game and got himself a 6.9. But th this has gone weird. I don't know. He, he played quite well anyway. So I'm going to give him another match. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll see how we go. Really, really, really pleased if we can win this. Um, I don't know who any of their players are. Go out and prove a point. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And immediately... No, that would I like... Oh, we've got a, a random cross going in. <laughs> the highlight started a bit shit um, late there. Ferries can really put a ball in. There's Kearney. Yeah, surely he tipped that over. Not like a save. Damn it. Onto the corner. Um, there's no point really looking at the results above us just yet because they're way away from us. Kearney headed wide again. It's getting on the end of them. Um, five, seven points. Maybe look at that for a top split. Is that a penalty? Penalty! Stephen Smith gets pushed in the back. Uh, who's that taking it? Wharton. He's actually a centre back, but he's got a really good penalty taking. And there we are, 1 0 up. Come on, lads. Let's have this. Four points clear as it stands. Goal difference is a lot better. I think goal difference is worth an extra couple of points. Here we are, how good that is. 13 minutes, no highlights. It's going quite. Um, I could, I could take this, yeah, finish 1-0. <laughs> 20 minutes in, not a great deal going on. Fagan started to get a little bit tired. Hopefully he can see it into second half. Ferries is feeling complacent. Don't want you feeling complacent, Ferries. You are complaining you weren't getting first team football, and since I put you back in, you've been playing well. It's not a great deal going on since that goal. Right, we've got free kick. Wharton into the box. Magooch, it's in, it's 2 0. Please tell me he's onside. Please tell me he's onside. Yes, he is. Magooch, come on, 2 0. We've got this. This could be a top six finish. Assuming other results go goes our way. Make it to half time, 2 0 up. Grace is being booked just before we scored. Sterling are winning. It's good for them. Keeping it alive at the bottom of the table. I think it's purely just between Sterling and Queen's Park now. Elgin were bottom for a while, but seem to have turned a corner and pulled a significant lead above the other two. Um, challenge to go out and prove a point. They are proving a point. Both of them centre backs are on sevens. That's good. Uh, both of them have scored. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, second half. Gracie back to Smith. Back to Wharton. Let's not play around the back, lads. Not it. Not it. Oh, Dylan Thomas is injured. Looks like Murray's going into team. Can play box the box midfield, so he can stake himself a claim for a first team spot. Oh, oh, Clyde. Clyde are losing. I oh, don't no. wait the replies. Never mind. But still, there's only five points. There's a potential we could finish in Europe here, boys. I'll do that. Uh, Fagan might have to come off in a few minutes, I think. He's knocking below the 70%. That always just says to me you need to come off. So she really might have to go on for a while. Um, seems to be going well. Possession's quite good. 
and they have got better than the ball but we've got two goals 13 shots as well that's a good thing about this tactic we are getting a lot of shots so we've got 15 minutes left let's give him a clearer run out and let's take him off before he gets sent off oh no wait never mind I've made all my three subs Durr. I'm hoping that they've just given me the injury as a free substitution never mind 10 minutes to go come on boys we've got this 2-0 up we shouldn't throw this away now Glider winning though that's a shame I thought we were going to uh, catch them although we're only now 5 points behind Annan instead they're drawing with Edinburgh so maybe this isn't as far away as I thought it was going to be maybe this if we can make it into this top half we've got a chance of getting into Europe in this first season Murray plays it forward a bit awful but they're just going to tip it around at back last couple of seconds and it's over with 2-0 take that boys it's a great result for us 4 points clear um, I'm not going to say that because that always knocks their head down well done good win 8.4 and 8.1 for us 2 centre backs 7.1 for us right back some very average ratings considering we've just beat the team in 6th 2-0 um, we've got Elgin next who are 8th so I think we'll play that game um, and potentially call it the end of an episode may squeeze a third match in but we'll see so I'll catch you on match day again welcome back it's match day we are away at Elgin um, we've had a, a little knock to Kearney he's um, he took a bit of a, a knock in the previous game uh, which put him out for between six and nine days so we're not going to be risking him today um, I'm going to put uh, who's a good advance forward mm. it's probably going to be Cunningham uh, Kearney can stay on the bench he's, he's not completely out of it um, Robertson does seem to have a better rating at right back and did seem to be first choice previously and he's better than Fagan so I think I'm going to put Robertson back in as well um, we want to try and keep his form going now for the last few games and get this top half finish and then try to push for Europe um, I might put Murray in as well because he's playing well before I put Thomas in Thomas's average rating slipped slightly um, and Murray's there above a 7 so I think he deserves to start so we see how this goes um, as I said previously they are 8th so we should be beating them but these tend to be the kind of games where we slip up so we've got the kickoff highlight instantly could we get an early goal Marine, no no, that was it we basically just kicked off that's not what I'd call a highlight football manager but you do you I'm trying to change my things don't let him in oh no, offside surely uh, no, it looks like our defender played it through to him no, he has been disallowed for pushing I'll take that instead of an offside disallowed is disallowed Um not a great deal else going on we get a lot of patches where there's no highlights in uh, in these games in Scotland for some reason Queen's Cowden and Beath are losing which is great news if we could win that put us even further above them um, we're 5 clear at the minute so we could go 7 which would pretty much get us there I would think Ferries has lost it Gracie can you turn oh Oh, what happened there? <laughs> Nutmeg keeper with the clean off the line. Uh, and then they managed to get it away. That's a shit. That would have been a comedy goal. <laughs> uh, dear me. Two of their players are frustrated, but we're playing quite composed. We're half an hour in. Come on, boys. Let's get this seven-point gap. Annan a drawing with Clyde. That's a decent result for us. Still only five behind Annan. If we can win, that closes that gap as well. So, oh, can we the two down? That's fantastic. Go on, Queen's Park. I don't care if you're fighting a relegation battle. You fight it against Calvin Beath. Edinburgh's losing to Peter Head, but that's not... I'm 10 points behind them. Winning league, I think, is a, a pipe dream at the minute. But if we could get this, I'm more than happy with a European spot. But first 
port call is winning this game. So they've got the kickoff eye like this time. What's up? It's like I was winning first half and it's just a nothing. Yep, pretty much. Uh, so they've got a throw in. Oh, we've given them a penalty. What are you doing, lads? We've got a chance here. Cowan and Beath are losing. Save it, save it, save it. Nah, completely wrong way. Oh well, put herself up against it in the second half. Let's just um, go and uh, score two. Cowan and Beath still losing. Annan is still drawing. But we're not taking this chance here. Four in front, six behind. Come on, boys. Let's um, give me more. All focused. And then all frustrated. Let's um, hope this is a chance to score. Fagan's looking a little bit tired again. Queen's Park have got a third. And Clyde are in front in Annan. Come on. This is perfect. Results going our way. There's nothing going on in our game, though. Fagan coming off. Looks tired. Cunningham's nervous. Well, we need to be nervous. Go on, McLeod can go up front. I can't do a nervous striker. Come on, we need to. Or at least a point. Um, they don't really attack. Omar. Kenny again. Wilson. Come on, boys. Push him back. Push him back. Push him back. You're not, you're not pushing him back. You're letting them play football. There's, there's two guys here having their own little game. Doesn't you? You letting them play through you? Good save, Morrison. Good save. That was flying into the bottom corner. And it would have been a fantastic goal, to be fair. A little passing movement. Now get away. Why? Why is no one moved to the ball? We've edited it clear and then just left them to get the ball back. I don't think we're taking his chances here. Ten minutes left. Let's at least get a point. Let's close the gap slightly. Oh, Anand's equalised. <sighs> Come on. Anybody think you don't want to qualify for Europe? Go on. Injury time equaliser. Go on, boys. Go see Shvili. Into the box. Into the box. Play it back. Penalty. We've got a penalty. It could be the tale of two penalties. Is that Wharton taking it as usual? I believe it is. Come on, Wharton. Don't let us down. I don't think you've missed one all season. There it is. It's one all. Injury time equaliser penalty. McCown and Beath are losing. So we're five points clear of them. And on a drawing. So at least we've not lost any ground on them. So we're still five points behind them. But we've increased that gap over Cowden and Beath. We could be on course here for a top half finish at the very least. But we can push for that European spot I think. Um, it it weren't disappointing. That's a bit. We'll, we'll say unlucky. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed with them. I am because they were eighth and we had a chance to increase as as uh, well close this gap. That that's increased anyway. But there's still two points dropped there. I think. But never mind. I don't, I don't want them to get theirs down. Um, we have now got rescue the late draw. We've got Clyde in the next game, we're currently second. And then we play Queen's Park on ninth. Uh, Peter Ed, Edinburgh, Berwick, and then Annan. That could be a big game. Um I think I'll leave it there for now, call that an episode. Um the the thing's been quite as as close as they are, I think I might actually show you all of these games. Unless anybody cuts adrift and we do end up finishing in the bottom half of the table. Um with a gap we've got over Cowden and Beef, I can't see that happening, so I I think we might be getting an interesting end to the season, so it might be might be uh, fun to share this with you. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And um, I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.